other. What you see in the papers is the evangelicals butt-fucking each other, okay? You see um, all of the leaders of, of Christianity butt-fucking each other, okay? That's what you see in the papers. You see that, you know, people are being taken advantage of by the Christians. Now, I, I, I will have to admit, okay, that... You know, people like Benny Hinn are probably atheists. You know, they know that God doesn't exist, and they're just sucking down the, you know, $300 million a year. So um, we'll have to, you know, go from there. But they're they're doing a pretty good job of covering it up. So, um, and, and like I said before, this guy has the get-out-of-hell-free card, okay? He's saying that we have immorality. Now, what's morality? Morality is the ability for somebody to understand that something goes against a humanistic idea, an idea that um, is beneficial for all people, not just not just a singular person, not just self, but for all people in general. So is it beneficial for people to uh, think that they are forgiven of all all of their uh, ill doings towards mankind just because they accept some kind of religious concept. They accept that somebody else paid for their irresponsibility. Okay? His irresponsibility, he can do anything he wants. Jesus has died for his sins. Jesus died so that he can be as immoral as he wants. He's the one that's got the immoral. Uh, um, he is not culpable for his morality. Okay? We, as heathen atheists, are culpable. And yet, it isn't expressed in the news or in jail. or any, Is there some type of a, a, a conspiracy cover-up? That the atheist heathens are not being caught at diddling their 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 child offsprings or or other children, and and that Christians are is there some type of conspiracy that's catching Christians and not atheists in pedophilic acts, in extortion, in killing people, in doing crime? Period. Wow. You know, I don't think that this guy has heard a word that I've said, okay? And I dare you guys to test it. Three points that I made. Three points that I made in this little rant. I'll bet another 50, two boxes, 50 donut holes, that he can't get three concepts that I put forth here, right? He can't remember Three things that I put forth here. Anybody want to take that bet? Anybody? You, you spaz? You think so? All right. I'm going to have to mute this in order for, for this to go on. All right? So, you, yeah, spaz, you go ahead, and um, uh, we'll go from there. You owe me 25. So the next bet is that he's got to have three points that I had. Killer, I, I hope you're recording this. This is gold. It really is. No, right, well, how about we try to, how about we try to reach, uh, you know, his human side here? How about uh, asking him a real question? Uh, he said his father, uh, his father died, and uh, he held him in his arms, and that was something profound for him, and something that either initiated his faith or reinforced it for him. Uh, I wanted to ask Gatling if, um, if he had always had that faith. Uh, and if, if not, how did it come about? Um, and have you ever had your doubts? Another bet on the table. 25 donut hole says he won't address it. You're going to hell, sir. You're going to hell. Don't. Uh, Spaz, you owe me 50 donut holes. <laughs> <laughs> pa 
prophecy, prophecy from debate faith. Yes, how did debate faith know that he was going to fail, that he would fail, that Spaz Questa would have to once again pay up for donut holes? <laughs> Well, sir, it's clearly your inability to come up with anything relevant or pertinent to the discussion that leads you to die. You're a coward, sir. You're a pussy. You're not an atheist. You're a narcissist. That's what you are. You're a self-involved little prick who thinks he's something because he's wearing an Easter bonnet in a chat room. Wow, sir, did you come to Pal Talk because you could get mod status? You have a chat room among hundreds, if not thousands. You're a bitch. Now, God, however, is not a bitch, and he's obviously assigned you to hell. You will be getting Satan's poker in your anus, and deservedly so. I see why God's going to send you to hell, and he's rightly doing it. I agree. I, I Double thumbs up, Lord. Send that heathen to hell. Him and his offspring, because let's face it, the sins of the father are visited upon the son. All of your children will go to hell, too, and deservedly so. They're heathens. God's made it perfectly clear. Things are right, things are wrong. You don't want to believe that. You want to be able to fuck goats. You want to be able to suck dick. You want to be able to do whatever the fuck you want to do and not get have any repercussions. You're a humanist. I get it. You know what a humanist is? A cocksucker. A humanist is a guy who wants to give head and not feel fucking bad about it. Not feel like he has to answer. I mean, God said fat people are fucked up, too, and I think fat people are fucked up. They consume too many resources. They're narcissists. They're selfish. They eat too much. You got starving people, and they're eating for fucking four. And sucking a cock and being a selfish little prick who thinks nothing he does is wrong because, after all, there is no cosmic right and wrong. There's just what I want to do. You're a selfish little prick, and you're heading to hell. Enjoy the trip, bitches. Yeah, I don't think he's – I think he's a troll. But, I, you know, if he – I think he would have really started reciting the Bible or he's just is employing some type of argument. He's he's just trolling us. I'm not trolling, sir. I, I'm in the prisons of demons who are going to hell. And yes, you disgust me. I find you reprehensible. And I'm not gonna cower. I am a mighty sword of the Lord God, and I will call you for what you are. Filthy demons undeserving of his love. You reject his love? Well, he rejects you. You're going to hell. It's that simple. You're beyond redemption. I don't think he can uh, recite one verse of the Bible. I think he's trolling it. You're right, Gio. He was funny at first, but he just keeps saying the same thing. Now he's just getting boring and annoying. Will you try something else, Gatling? Something besides we're going to hell. And also, I don't. What's wrong with um, what's wrong with sucking dick? Um, there's there's nothing immoral about that. It may not be the preference of uh, some people, uh, but what I don't see what uh, why why you have to bring that up. I knew you were a cocksucker. Well, let's talk about Jim, Jeremiah twenty nine eleven. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and hope. That's what he said. How about Psalm 27, 4? One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. I don't think, it, I think his temple, Spaz, is a gay bar with a glory hole. Our Lord gave us a set of instructions. If you refuse to read it, then it is at your peril, sir, not mine. 
Proverbs 17, 7, a friend loves at all time, and a brother is born for adversity. Well, sir, I can't suffer under your adversity because your adversity is 